Hi, I'm Fajar Purnama and on this second video I would like to demonstrate how to install Moodle version 3.3 on a fresh Ubuntu system. This Ubuntu is a uh, Ubuntu, let's see. This is Ubuntu 16.04 LTS a 64 bit. and I'm going to install this on a fresh system and I prefer to use the terminal first off try to you do a uh, apt update upgrade and this mean upgrade And luckily I have done that so no need to do which can save our time so the next thing is to prepare to install a Moodle so first thing off um, I'd like to install aptitude as well to search for packages just in case hey okay install And it looks like I already got updated install. The next thing you need is a web server and a database server, and also a PHP. As you can see, I'm using, I'm installing the new version of PHP, which is PHP 7.0. And after that, you need to go to a website and download Moodle. For me, I like it better if I download Moodle from GitHub. If you don't have Git, then install the Git. This is the Moodle's Git repository, but fortunately, uh, Moodle already have a uh, documentation when installing Moodle using Git. And here are the the steps, which is only simply five to six steps. Six steps, I see. But we have to wait until this thing is finished. And by the way about this video, so you if you already have Moodle installed, but when you are trying to use my scripts and it doesn't work on the Moodle, probably uh, the way you install your Moodle might not be the same as the way of installing the Moodle on this one. So this video might help to see what kind of environments does my script works or how I install my Moodle that will work for my script but if you're already so sure and confident just go ahead and go to the third video about using my script then I need to install git if I don't have Okay, I already have Git. 
now I just need to install Moodle so first go to the path of your web root for Apache 2 and Moodle 16.04 the location is in far uh, ww html which here you can find the default web page that is uh, index dot html so now I just need to follow this code git clone it will make a directory called Moodle and this will take some time since the size of a Moodle on git quite, could be quite large so I'm going to pause the video for a moment okay I've done I finished the downloading the Moodle from git now I need to go into the Moodle directory change directory to Moodle and then I need to see the branches or the yes oh well, well it's called a git branch and here there are multiple version I should use the most stable one Moodle 3.3 And then I need to change to the Moodle 3.3 .3 stable branch. Now that the my Moodle directory is using the most latest stable branch, then I need to install the Moodle via the web browser. For now I can just go to localhost. And then this is the index.html and then I just need to go to the directory Moodle and this means that PHP for Apache 2 is not yet installed and what a pain it used to be automatic so I forgot what the name of the package is so I just need to search for aptitude search PHP and let's see I remember the name of the package is a uh, lib apache mod php 7.0 and this one what we need to install and I wonder if it will activate the php for us um, from the looks of it it's already um, enabling it for us so let's try to refresh this page and yes the PHP is now working now we go to the Moodle installation for now we I'm going to use a local host next and this one this is the web address we can change later if you want and this and data directory And now we will give. Uh, there is a warning that a parent directory for WW is not writable, which means that it cannot make a directory called Moodle Data in far WW. So this is because only root have permission to go to var WW. So we. So it's better to for us to manually create. Okay, let's just go. Now in the far www, I'm going to make a directory called Moodle Data. There, and then I can change it as mean LT, and I see that the owner of the Moodle Data is root, and the group is root and for the root it's able to do anything but for other it can only read and execute but it cannot perform a write 
or modify this model data so I'm going to change the ownership of this model data to the to the web server and let's check again that the owner of this model data is wwmin data and group root and now we should be able to pass this as you can see we can choose the type of database driver if you remember we are, I'm currently using the MySQL native MySQL I you can use MariaDB also if you're using MariaDB instead of MySQL but just for testing purpose MySQL is enough well I heard that MariaD MariaDB can handle a much more query or much more data and it can query in a short time which is good for production but for testing I'll just use my scale is enough is this one is root ah uh, and the password is how looks like it's shown so let me pause the video and go ahead this one empty empty and sorry I have to pause this recording because it's a uh, password sensitive and now I unpause and we go to the next page so Moodle made an attempt to save configuration in file in the root of your Moodle installation due to course it was not able to automatically create a config.php file containing your chosen setting all because Moodle directory is not readable you can manually copy the full encode in the file name config.php with root directory of Moodle and so I can copy this here it has the configuration localhost and if you want to change the URL for this one later you can change here and still I'm using HTTP well HTTPS is preferred <gasps> There is my database password. Okay, I'll just change it later. Uh, so the previous one was actually. Okay, I'll just change. This is a simple password, but. Hey, go on if you want to hack on the server. It's not really important anyway. okay then I made the config.php I can sh I should be able to pass this installation uh, I need a PHP XML extension so install apt install PHP 7.0 in XML and Uh, like before it wouldn't I need to restart the web server again so system ctl restart apache 2 and then refresh again and then this is the copyright agree and continue And here are some warnings which I need to install. Some of them are just a warning, some actually I needed to install, but why not just do all of them? Call PHP. Okay.
okay now I got it installed I need to restart again the web server then refresh this page reload and the only problem I have is this site is not HTTPS if you want to have this site HTTPS it's easy you can just um, for for uh, Ubuntu 16.04 and for Apache 2, you just not you just need to use the command a2 enable mod SSL and then a2 enable site which is on the you can look at the configuration on the Apache or just search for uh, the documentation but now I know it's a default yeah I forgot so let's check so it's here it is in etc apache and then it's in the sites available and there is what oh sorry ls and there is called the default essence.cov which is that one that I need to enable enable site default min ssl dot configuration now you have the ssl enable you just need to restart but if you want the correct or you want the what you call it a good certificate which is quite uh, complicated to make which I also need to check the website how to do it it's not going to be covered here but just for having the SSL enable should be enough and if it doesn't work okay TPS Okay, events at the exception. And now I have the I have okay. So here I have the site to be HTTPS, but in order to enable this, you need to start the installation from the beginning and starting from using HTTPS oh no 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 sorry you have to change the Moodle config remember this one is still HTTP HTTP you change this to HTTPS and this should fix things up try again and there is everything's done and no problem so if you want to install a perfect Moodle like this is okay but currently I want to use this Moodle for testing so I rather go with uh, HTTP continue and then Moodle is performing installation while doing that let me change the password for my database and this terminal okay now installation is almost finished let's see the username it's admin uh, okay 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 setting up is done now let me give a uh, site name what is the username is uh, f is brown f is brown 
HICC okay full name Okay, now I got this done. Before I go to the next video, let me upload my course here, my full course. So restore a course, and let me use the course backup area. Okay, there's one thing I forgot to do. I need to change the setting for the upload, maximum upload. This is the configuration to set the upload maximum size and the post size and search for upload max size and post max size. that's it unfortunately I have to restart the web server again now I should be able to upload my my course here so this is my course called the first step course is in MBZ and okay upload should have been uploaded and now I need to restore and continue and upload the new course Cloud enrolled user okay I don't want an enrolled user I just need the contents that's that and what I want to do next is to I don't want to use a local host but I want to use my local IP address so that I can connect to this um, to this uh, model server locally let me pause for a while okay I got my local IP address but I will wait until this finishes now once it's finished and this is my course and my course contains uh, three topics which is about starting a computer programming for side of computer network and having a taste of being a hacker and it contains at least uh, learning contents, quizzes, uh, forums, and assignments. Now I need left is to change the local host to my local IP, uh, Internet Protocol address, so that I can assess it lo locally. As you can see, I haven't changed my database password yet, but of course I will fin I will change it after I finish this experiment. 
I want to use local host well I'm going to use my local there now I should be able to aha uh -huh, see automatically it redirects to my IP and I should be able to assess it locally and that's it for the video of um, of installing Moodle and finally we can go to the next video of how to use my synchronization interface although it's only a script that I use for demonstration and it's not yet for production use thank you